Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. Do you plan on going to the Big People Party of the Year? Do you plan on going to Different Strokes Retro Party? You do? Well, here is your chance to save some money. Early bird tickets are now on sale and they'll be available until October 14. You can get your early bird tickets at www differentstrokesjamaica.com or you can buy them in the grill at World of Sports or in Savannah Lamar at Candid Expression. Different Strokes will be held on Saturday, November 18 at Waves Beach in the grill. Don't miss it. In today's journey, we are starting at Farm Pen in the parish of Westmoreland. We are heading towards Lucy in Hanover. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey with me. Now, in this first incident, this one took place in the vicinity of the Reliance Basic School along the Brayton Boulevard at Brayton Fierce Tree in Portmore in the parish of St. Catherine. It took place early yesterday morning, Wednesday, September 27, about 7.30. We are learning that a team of police officers... They were on patrol in the area when they saw a guy coming from a gully. The guy, he had a one-strap bag across his chest. His actions aroused the suspicion of the police. As a result, he was stopped and searched. The one-strap bag that he had across his chest, it was searched and bingo. It was found to contain one black Taurus 9mm pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing six rounds of 9mm cartridges. Now, that guy, his name is Shamar Johnson. He is 23 years old and he's living at Dreamland Drive in the Old Britain area of Portmore. Shamar, he was arrested and charged for 1. Possession of prohibited weapon 2. Unauthorized possession of ammunition and 3. Removal or alteration of mark on a firearm. No, that is because the serial number and the gun was erased. So, Shamar, he'll be going to the courts shortly. Portmore Police, job well done. In this next story, the Westmoreland Police, they have arrested and charged a guy. His name is Javian Holt, but he's popularly known as Paka. Paka is 27 years old and he's living in the Bethel Town area of Westmoreland. We are learning that for a while now. Paka and another guy, he's known as Neil. They have been having frequent disputes. It is said that jealousy is at the heart of these frequent disputes. Yes, them are quarrel over woman. <laughs> it is said that on more than one occasion, Neil, he had gone to the police station to report threats against Paka and on more than one occasion. The police, they had gone to Paka's yard to warn him not to carry out his threat. It is said that Sunday night, about minutes to 9 o'clock, they were involved in one such quarrel. It is alleged that Paka, he left and went home. It is further alleged that he later went to Neil's Home where he pulled a gun and pointed it at Neil, telling him, If you ever make any more police come back to my yard, me I go kill you. It is alleged that he then left. A report was made to the police, and Parker, he was picked up by the police. He was subsequently charged for possession of firearm with intent to cause injury and threat, and he'll be going to the courts. Shortly, Aishamar, <laughs> Aishamar, also known as Road Code Boss. Today is your birthday. 
your wife, Tamika, and the four children, they're asking us to big you up. Road code boss, bless up yourself. Also, Peaches Graham, you're also known as Charmaine. You're living in Austin, Texas. Your brother, Devon, popularly known as Shati. And Shati is one of the best mobile to serve bus driver. He's asking us to big you up on your big day. Charmaine and Road Code Boss, let's hope that today you both have a wonderful birthday and may you live to see a holy more. In this next story, we are learning that a guy, he's called Dwight. He's living in the Whitehall area of Negril. He was shot and seriously wounded early this morning, about 5 o'clock along the Norman Manley Boulevard in Negril. We are learning that Dwight, he was driving a motor vehicle along the beach road when hoodlums rode up beside him on a motorcycle and opened gunfire at him, hitting him in his neck. Dwight, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. I'm doing some digging and I'm going to be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. In this next story, I carried a story yesterday. It was about an incident that took place Tuesday afternoon, about 2 o'clock. It took place along the Tuckamean Road in the parish of St. James. Hoodlums in a white Toyota Voxy. They drove up and opened gunfire at that hoodlum on your screen. His name is Glenroy Morgan, but he was popularly known as Crow. Like I said yesterday, Crow, he was living in the Green Pond area of St. James, but he ran away from the area and sought refuge in the Tucker area after he was implicated in a murder in the Green Pond area. The hoodlums, they shot and killed Crow, who was sitting in the front of a truck. They also shot and killed that man on your screen. His name is Mr. Neville Brown Dixon. Mr. Dixon was born on March 21. 1950 73 years old we are told that for years mr dixon he worked at the sangsta international airport in montego bay he then migrated to the united states of america where he worked in an italian restaurant at upstate new york for many many years mr dixon he was standing on the outside of the truck talking to crow and the driver for the truck when hoodlums attacked. I had also told you that an ex-policeman, he was also shot and seriously wounded. There is that ex-policeman on your screen. His name is Patrick Hay. He was born on January 4, 1963. And Patrick Hay, he worked as a policeman for many, many years in the parish of St. James. He was living at the estuary housing scheme also in the parish of st james mr he he was in a supreme ventures outlet when he was hit in his abdomen and left hand by two stray bullets i told you yesterday that mr he he did a surgery tuesday night and he was slated to do another one yesterday well ex-policeman patrick he he has lost the battle he died in hospital. And that is why you don't hear me endorsing this hoodlum killing hoodlums business. These hoodlums, they went to kill one hoodlum. That's Crow. They killed him, but they also ended up killing two great grandfathers. Sad indeed. Condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Dixon and Mr. Hay. In this next story, and I have been reading the comments on my Facebook page. I have been reading the comments. I want you to listen to what an alleged eyewitness is saying about this incident. And then I'm going to tell you what the police are alleging. This alleged eyewitness, he spoke to a Jamaica Observer reporter. 
listen to this. Come here, brother, and the next year, I travel back around material truck because I'm beside my belly horse. Mm -hmm. So when they come down now, the material truck pass before, before the police pass the material truck and grow on the panic axia. Him the person I want to call him and tell him, say, yo, see some police are coming there. You understand? The man, they, they get the car and I say, man, everything good. We, you know what I mean? We, we don't have no reason for running front of police. By the time police are reaching, they are being shot. I'm sitting right here, son. you be a shot. You turn in front seat, father around, and come back on the front and the man say, watch and then kill my son and then kill my brother. No reason, man, they have a gun for them officer. Believe me, for my brother, he's a broke up. He's a broke up, you. You understand? Him not, him not do wrongs. He not do wrongs. He's right to say, what are you born and grow? We don't do wrongs, father. Believe me. We don't do wrongs. Nothing in the killing man, the man didn't have a gun, the man didn't have a lead sheet, the man didn't have nothing. Just kill him and then for no reason pass when a jerry, man then pass when a bop bop with them finger as police got kill me more than a more than ten somebody up on the road and the man then pass and the man then do it. Everybody. See, see a man over there so can't see a two. Different man can't see a three man then pass when a bop 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 with them finger, brother. How them for do that, brother? They kill the two man them innocently, brother, they motor so we can't even come down they can't see man them. We can't even go see him and they lock up him and car and take him and key gone with him. What make them lock up him and car? They kill him and them for no reason. I tell them they are too innocent you with them. I can't swear for my life on that. For my brother, my man not do nothing. Believe me, I didn't mind there as I help you out. There's like a thing that I can't help you out in any little situation. The man just getting you to what he is. You, they are fine. You just migrate. He make that happen. And he did migrate after. You understand? And the man dead left in you right now. So the community is shaken by this? The community is shaken. Well shaken. Well, well shaken. I told no one The man in the front seat, right in the same barn and ground. Father, live up this up. The man in the, the driver's seat, our brother, right in the same barn and ground. Right in the same And your brother is not the gunman? No gunman. No badness. Not, not, none at all. Remember me telling you. No gun. The man foot broke up. The man can't even run for the badness. The man is a broke up you. Your foot broke off when I foot short and one. Say so walk and limb. You walk well slow. See so for me foot as a mash up to bite mash me up too. Bite mash up the whole away. You understand? I bite back me the pan. I come from school, you know. Bite back me the pan. I come from school, and the ride a crash, you I'm dead and I'm surviving. Life machine me the pan all long, you know. Me I tell him brother, I do no badness. I'm help you out any little thing. I'm help you out. Any man do badness. Any man no mixing or nothing. Believe me, any man no mixing. Just help me help out a youth. We are born and grow with. There's nothing for help out of you. We are born and grow. The material check go up in the yard, you want to go pay the man. Then. So it's nothing for you to scare the man up. You understand? It's nothing. Two men then go up there and come back down. You know. Come there and come back down. You know, can you don't pay the man. The material truck come up right there. In front of them. You know. The material truck. You know. They're in front of them. You know. Right there, the material truck come up. You know. Be a shot around there. You know. Nothing. You know. The man didn't have nothing for them. I can see it for my life. Nothing. Yeah, tell them. Anything, anything I find down there, they put it on them. Because we can't go down there. And they want pepper spray my grandma, they want pepper spray my grandma for no reason. Just because they want to see their little, 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 little grandson. Not any man done. Man, yo, believe me. So, you heard that? Well, this is what the police are alleging. It is said that a guy, his name is Dean Woolery, but he was popularly known as t -Gut. It is alleged that t -Gut, he was implicated in the murder of that guy on your screen his name is odani brooks or odani brooks but he was popularly known as cruz cruz he was shot and killed at a round robin at broughton in the little london area of westmoreland on thursday night june 22. we are told that two weeks or so before cruz was killed he and tigat they were involved in a dispute Guns were drawn and shots were fired, but no report was made to the police. The police, they are alleging that they were in the Spring Garden area of Westmoreland yesterday when they spotted a white Toyota Axio motor car. One of the guys who was in the car was t -Gut. The police, they are claiming that they signaled the car to stop. They are also claiming that Shots were fired and they returned the fire. When the smoke was cleared, t -Gut and that guy on your screen, they were hit. His name is Romario Dawkins, but he was popularly known as Nerd or Crab. Nerd was born on Independence Day, August 6, 1997. Both of them, 
they died as a result. The police, they are also claiming that they found two illegal guns in the car. One of them is a Glock P80 9mm pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing seven 9mm rounds and one black and silver Taros 9mm pistol. It was affixed with a magazine containing two 9mm rounds. So, here is what I have to advise you, the residents of Spring Gardens, who may have witnessed this incident. Ensure that you give a statement to Indicom. Don't be afraid to give your statement. If nobody threaten you, report it. Report it to Indicom. Give your statement because that is the only way you're going to get justice that you are saying that you want. Give your statement. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you'll be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, and this one was surely a shootout. A hoodlum is dead and a policeman he is lucky to be alive. That guy on your screen. His name is Daniel Farkison, but he was popularly known as Fryai. Fryai is 27 years old. He was born on April 18, 1996, and he lived at Sukaba Gardens in the Old Arbor area of St. Catherine. Fryai, he was a hoodlum, and he was aligned to a gang known as the Skangbang Gang in the area. Fryai, he has been implicated in many shootings and mayhems in the area. He was wanted by the Old Arbor police who for weeks they have been appealing to him to turn himself in to the police. He was wanted for murder. Yesterday afternoon, Wednesday, September 27, at minutes to 4 o'clock, a team of police officers, they were on an operation in the Old Arbor area when they received intelligence. That intelligence led them to a house in the area. The officers, they entered the house. Whilst they were in the house, Fryai, he was spotted in the ceiling of the house. We are told that Fryai, he immediately opened gunfire at the police officers. The officers, they took evasive action and returned the fire. We are told that Fryai, he fell out of the ceiling, still firing shots at the police. The officers, they did what it took to protect their lives. When the smoke was cleared, Fryai, he was seen lying along a passage suffering from gunshot wounds. He was still clutching a Glock 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine containing five 9mm rounds. One of the police officers, we are told that he was saved by his bulletproof vest. He was hit in the chest by a bullet which lodged in the front of the bulletproof vest that he was wearing. A female who we are told is Fryai's girlfriend. She's called Abigail and she's in her early 20s. She was found in the front bedroom of the house. We are told that Abigail, she received a gunshot wound to her right leg. The room that Abigail was found in, it was searched and the police, they found one .22 revolver with eight .22 rounds and a mattress in that room. Fryai, he died on the spot and Abigail, she was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where she was treated and admitted. Another hoodlum bites the dust. The mayhem continues blessed love everybody tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend 
about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Yeah.